by a mirror on the wall. Who is the most purpose-driven of them all? <laughs> hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about a success through purpose mindset. But you know one thing that success can't fix? Being ill. Because I have got a horrible cold right now. Oh! Go! Oh, God! God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Cut that my head! <laughs> Oh God! Who throws a full packet of tissues? Honestly! Who throws a cup of piss? Honestly. So what do I mean when I say purpose-driven mindset? Well, here's what I don't mean. I don't mean some wishy-washy spiritual nonsense. <laughs> Far too long, purpose has been hijacked by hippies. Hippies all around me. Hippies. Hippies. Purpose-driven mindset is about success, not hippies. For far too long, purpose has been hijacked by the spiritual types, the gurus. The point is, is that purpose it can make you, or having a purpose, I should say, can make you as successful as you can imagine. It's not about finding your inner zen. It is about making you as focused on your innate purpose as possible. And this video, we take back control of purpose and how it can change your life forever. And let's now discover five secrets to a purpose-driven mindset. Oh, and by the way, in every video that we create, we're gonna try and put in a tip somewhere throughout the video, which should improve your life. So keep an eye out for that. Hey, you wanna know a secret about successful people? They all believe in themselves! Wow. The first and most important aspect of finding your purpose and also putting into a mindset is belief. And I believe that you should smash that like button. Just have to put it in there. What can I say? It's for the YouTube algorithm. The truth is you can't manufacture your belief. You can't manufacture your purpose. It has to come from within. But if you are like many others who have not yet found their purpose, then me and my trusty editor, you might have seen in a previous video, will put the link to how to find your purpose either here or here or... So hopefully click one of those links, watch that, come back, and this video will make a hell of a lot more sense. If you come back from that purpose video, write down in the comments below what your purpose is or write how you found that process. We're always tweaking, we're always refining, and it's important for us to know how you feel about doing it. Ever heard the saying, fake it till you make it? Act as though you are worth a million dollars. The law of attraction says that what you believe, what you think and what you believe becomes your reality. So if you want a million dollars, I mean, who doesn't know I want a million dollars? Believe you can get it. Your belief and your ability to craft your reality around you to achieve that purpose will lead you to success. It is by far the most important aspect of the success through purpose. Secondly, and probably the most difficult part of the success-driven mindset is sacrifice. And guess what? You have to work hard and sacrifice to achieve your goals. Crazy, right? You have to consistently sacrifice some of the things that are really important to you in order to achieve ultra success. You have to imagine that every day you are given a bottle of water. This water represents time. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey time. Wibbly wobbly. Uh, throughout your day, you've got buckets, and each one of these buckets represents something important to you. Now, you can choose exactly how much of your time you spend in each of those buckets. One bucket could be your purpose, one bucket could be spent doing, spending time with friends and family. The more time that you put in to each one of those buckets, the more likely you're gonna get something out of those buckets. So if you put a lot of water into your, into your purpose bucket, you're more likely to achieve your purpose. Because the more time you put in, the more effort you put in, the more likely you're gonna be successful. Every single day, get a bottle of water, and where you put that time is gonna put you in a different place. I recommend success, just saying. <laughs> Something else about sacrifice is this idea of headspace. Working nine to five. So when you're working in a nine to five, low responsibility position, you tend to have the ability to finish your job, come home, and have that mental breathing room to not think about it. And unfortunately, when you're working towards your purpose, when you have micro goals and daily goals and weekly goals and monthly goals and yearly goals, every single day, you are gonna be thinking about that next goal, that next step. The idea of headspace, that mental breathing room then, is unfortunately gonna to have to be sacrificed to purpose gods because it, you will not have the ability to switch off, not really. The fact is that having a purpose and trying to fill that purpose and working towards it means that you're gonna require constant brain power. It's a lot of problem solving. It's a lot of thinking about how you want to get from point A to point B to point C. So the take home message from sacrifice is that life conquers in your head that you will constantly be working. You gotta look out for number one. 
Earlier I mentioned about the law of attraction. In terms of people and people that you want in your life, that is the law of attraction. You are gonna be attracted to the people that share your beliefs and values. Are the people you are currently around successful? I don't care if Uncle Jimmy owns his own car boot sale. I wanna know if they have got a purpose and they are fulfilling it. If they have fulfilled it, that is what I would call success. If you aren't fulfilling your purpose, if you aren't actually making strides towards that and you feel unhappy, that is the reason. So why would you want to be around successful people? Because they are successful. Because you are the people you are around the most. If you want money, find people that most well. And they will impart that knowledge onto you. That mindset that they have. So a big part of the success through purpose mindset is to be brutal with the people that you have in your life. But Ash, how can you identify those top tier people? Well, here are three qualities that these top tier people will have. The most successful people will delay their gratification. When I say delay gratification, I mean that they don't suddenly just buy a Porsche. They will consistently ensure that the most important thing to them is prioritized. They do not allow themselves to be distracted by their wants and desires. But the second quality is that they will have extremely high self-esteem. They will believe in themselves. They will have high self-esteem, they will have high confidence levels, and they will be extremely motivated by what they want. So the third thing, and I'd probably say the most important thing to look out for, is that they will interpret all experiences, positive and negative, as learning experiences. They will say, ah, I've learned something from this. There's a silver lining from this. They never allow the situation to get to them. Because you can never have a bad day if you have a positive mindset. You need to find the people who you want to be. Remember that tip we mentioned earlier? Well, here it is. So the tip is, every time you have an idea throughout the day, write it down. Because the chances, by the time you've thought about it a little bit, and the day's progressed and moved on, it'll be gone, it'll be forgotten about. So, get a notepad, write it down. And if this is too big, get a smaller notepad and if this is too big get your phone we all have ways that we can write things down in fact i would even say whenever you watch our videos why don't you keep a note of what we say keep your mind focused in on us because if you keep your mind focused in you will reap your reward scheduling is a core discipline and normally dictates the quality of your life you have to schedule your time wisely so that you are spending your time on your purpose, on your goals. Because it's so easy to get caught up in life, so you need to work hard and work smart. Scheduling requires a lot of discipline. It's about sticking to your targets, sticking to your goal, and being able to consistently achieve them and get over any problems that come your way. But did you know that successful people have one common trait in scheduling? They have a morning routine. Now, this doesn't mean getting up at 5 a.m. But of course, there is no news. Yet everyone's still asleep. Going to the gym, having a 20 mile hike. A morning routine is something that you do every single day. But a morning routine could be as easy as waking up at 9 o'clock, smashing down a glass of water, having your breakfast, maybe reading or watching a YouTube video, maybe one of our YouTube videos. But the one takeaway from scheduling is that by scheduling your time, you know that every single day you're moving one step closer at least to your purpose, to your goal. That's important because sometimes you can get so carried away by life that you feel like you aren't going towards your goals, you aren't going towards your purpose. And it's important for your own self-esteem level to feel as though, even slowly, that you're moving towards your purpose. And finally, we have number five, and that is reflection. Reflection is important. If you don't know where you've come from, it's hard to see where you're going. Our past makes up who we are right now. So your successes in your past leaves an indication, a footnote, to where it could be that you're going towards. So just like I mentioned in the scheduling aspect, just reflecting is important because you can so easily get caught up with life. So often you can you can suddenly be in the position where you haven't moved in towards your goals, you haven't moved in towards your purpose. So having that daily reflection or that weekly reflection and asking yourself the question, this week, have I moved closer to achieving my goal? This week, have I moved closer to achieving my purpose? And if you find yourself saying, actually no, then that's when you should go back, reschedule, re-reflect, and ask yourself more questions. Is this not the most perfect kingdom of them all? So you can reflect in four different ways. You can have a daily reflection, a weekly reflection, a monthly reflection, and a yearly reflection. Number one, what micro goals have you set today that you've achieved? 
Number two, what have you done today that's brought you a step closer to achieving your goals? And the third and final question you can ask yourself is, did you use your time wisely today? What have I done this week which has wasted my time? How could I have done things in a more effective way? What can I improve for next week? always important to think about the future. Am I achieving the goals that I have set out to achieve? Now, there is no, maybe just a bit, mm, there is yes and no. And if the answer is yes, that is a good indication that you're on the right path, things are going smooth. If you say no, that is a dire indication that something is going wrong, either with you or with what you're trying to work towards. What is preventing you from achieving these goals? What's going on? So if you're looking back at your monthly reflection, you should be able to look back at your week, your four weekly reflections and to see where you're going towards. You should be able to see a trail of success or a trail of abject failure. And if you have failed to amend what is going wrong within those four week periods, you need to have a major rethink. Something is going wrong. 365 days of the year, you may have been reflecting every single day. You've reflected 52 times for your weeks, 12 times for the month. If you had reflected that much and that often, you should be able to see the evidence in front of you, whether your success, your failures, where you should improve upon. At the beginning of every year, I look back and I ask myself the question, am I closer to my goals now than what I was at the same time last year? If that's a resounding yes, then I know that I'm on the right path and I know what I'm doing is so with your yearly reflection, there is one question you should ask yourself. Am I closer to my purpose now than what I was at the beginning of the year? If that is no, what has stopped you? What part of you has stopped you? And most importantly, how will you ensure that you won't be stopped again? And that, my friends, is the five secrets, the five tips, the five things to do with the success through purpose mindset. It's all about purpose, folks. This channel is all about purpose. You can achieve anything as long as you know what it is you want to achieve. This is about cold, hard truth. And the only truth that is measurable is success. So thank you for watching the video. I hope that you enjoy our content. Smash that like button, comment down below. And remember, and inspire initiatives, we are trying to inspire you to be your best self. Adios, amigo. <laughs>